I suppose, me talking or explaining today with pauses for interaction, but it will be a little bit different. All right, well, we are going to be talking about today how to spice up zooms. If you have to zoom, why not make it great? So we all know the, uh, that on Zoom you can switch between share screen and you can show pictures and slides, but what if you could do those things at the same time? And so let's talk about Prezi. Prezi is a presentation software maybe most of us are familiar with. Um, for example, Prezi does this cool sort of zooming in on the pictures. You have the zoom out feature, you create your content and of course you zoom in and it moves through the presentation in a rather visually pleasing way. But there's more to Prezi with Prezi Video. It is possible to add these slides into the Zoom and for these slides to be seen with your face. So let's go ahead and move to Prezi in a Zoom. So something you're gonna find out when you download Prezi is that you can operate from the Prezi website, but you also can download an app for using it, um, Prezi in presentations. So there are a lot of ways to see this on YouTube on how to do this, but this is the presentation we previously saw. And so let me show you it in a Zoom. All right, let's see, we're still here, everyone's here, perfect. Well, what you can see on the screen is that these words are backwards, and that's because I am operating within Zoom, and so that's what it does, it shows them backwards. But if I actually switch to the Prezi picture, they are now right side up. And if I was recording live with people, you would see their faces over here, and I can click down here to have just my picture, and then I could also click this to have the, um, the circles that I wanted people to see, or I could take my face out of it and move through the presentation like this. And just going over to the right arrow, I can start my presentation. And I can move things this way, I can move things this way, I can come back to talking and kind of hit this gap here, or I can get rid of it for a moment and talk about it, answer some questions, and then we can move back on into the presentation. So this is Prezi. Now if you noticed, these, uh, these images are kind of blocking my face. Well, actually, within Prezi, you can choose an, a mode where they will shift these things down and to the right so they will be in just this quadrant so that your face can be off to the left and you can still present effectively. But this is an interesting way to have slides and video be working back and forth. In fact, this is what it looks like with the adjusted content. And this was as simple as clicking a couple of boxes to make sure that when I do my presentation, those circles, which if I wanted to do a standard class presentation, take up the whole field, now move down and to the right so that if I wanted to do some talking points while this was happening, I could decide to move my chair over here and just talk about this weekend, students are going to the nature trip, just to be, students have decided that they want this, um, here's the strategy, and now look at the picture and the student experience. They're seeing these things, we can still talk in live, but there is so much visually interesting things happening without clicking through screens and kind of, I guess there's zero transitions. So this is Prezi Video. Prezi is not exactly free. I think it might be a $7 for the year subscription for teachers to have the basic package. And basically, that's gonna let you go to Prezi.com. It will let you choose from different templates. It's pretty easy and intuitive to get going. Um, it's very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint or even Google Slides, where they're just gonna give you presets and you're gonna decide how much detail you want to add. But this is a great way to spice up Zooms so that students have a very visually interesting experience. And maybe when you're in presentation mode and needing to kind of share some things, this will make them a slight bit more engaged. Thanks for paying attention. Well, I think I have told everybody that today the format will be different.